Hi everyone, it's me, Pat. And do you love my new t-shirt? It says love is love, so I love it. I also love it because I'm wearing it for a very special reason today. We are celebrating pride. Now the word pride itself is a feeling or an emotion about self-satisfaction, about great pleasure from something that you have accomplished yourself. It's about confidence and self-respect. And the word pride, together with the rainbow flag, is also the logo that is used for our LGBTQ plus community. Now you've seen the rainbow flag before. It's in many different places in our church and in the community of Victoria. But it was also a part of our celebration of affirmation that happened a few weeks ago. But that flag, together with the word pride, represents the LGBTQ plus community. And what does all that mean? Well, it stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, queer, and others. Now, what does all that mean? Well, that's a way that people identify their gender. And it also expresses all the different ways that people can love one another. We're not all the same. We're not supposed to be all the same. It's our differences that make the world such a great place to be. Now, even though it's still an issue of accepting people and all of their differences today, there was a time where people who were LGBTQT plus had to hide. They might have gotten arrested. They might have gotten beat. It was about 50 years ago that a group of LGBTQ people decided that they weren't going to hide anymore, that they weren't going to be discriminated against or treated differently because they had different ways of being in the world. They were proud of who they were and they wanted to stand up for themselves and for others who were being treated like they were. So that was how the Pride Movement got started. Here's a little video to watch that will explain it a little better. Pride, what is it? Well, the word pride means to be proud. And pride is also the name of a number of events and parades which take place throughout the year, sometimes known as gay pride. These events are like a party. It's a celebration. But why do we celebrate? Well, it dates back to 1969, New York City, and a place called the Stonewall Inn. The Stonewall Inn was one of the few places where the LGBT plus community could go to be themselves. Because at this time in history, people who were LGBT plus were not treated as equals. Many people treated them unfairly. At the Stonewall Inn, they were safe to be who they were. But on June 28, 1969, the police decided to raid the inn and tried to arrest the people inside. LGBT plus community had had enough. They decided it was unfair the way they were being treated and that they shouldn't have to hide or be ashamed of who they were. And so they protested, meaning they refused to be arrested. It was quite a dangerous thing to do, but still they stood together as a group for what they believed in. The police eventually backed down and these people were free, free to be themselves. This event helped pave the way for LGBT plus liberation. Liberation meaning freedom. Exactly one year later, a march was organized to remember what had taken place and how the LGBT plus community had stood up to inequality. Every year this parade grew and grew and has now become what we know as Pride. 
and in fact now takes place on many days and places throughout the world. It is a day to celebrate freedom and equality for the LGBT plus community and everyone is invited. The best thing about this history lesson is knowing things can change. If something is unfair or wrong, we can stand up for what is right. Just remain calm and speak your truth. Because we are all equal and deserve to be treated fairly. Hey, thanks for watching Pop and Ollie Learn. Hope you had a cool time learning about the history of Pride. You know, when I think about celebrating Pride, and I think back to National Indigenous Peoples Day, and our own celebration of affirmation at our church, and to what we hear in the media about Black Lives Matter. I think that it all fits together because everyone just wants to be treated equally. They want to be treated fairly. They want to be respected for who they are and how they choose to live. This is a book called God's Dream. And I think that's what God wants for us too. This is a perfect book to tie all of these ideas together. I hope you enjoy it. God's Dream by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Dear child of God, what do you dream about in your loveliest of dreams? Do you dream about flying high or rainbows reaching across the sky? Do you dream about being free to do what your heart desires? Or being treated like a full person, no matter how young you might be? Do you know what God dreams about? If you close your eyes and look with your heart, I am sure, dear child, that you will find out. God dreams about people sharing. God dreams about people caring. God dreams that we reach out and hold one another's hands and play one another's games and laugh with one another's hearts. But God does not force us to be friends or to love one another. Dear child of God, it does happen that we get angry and hurt one another. Soon we start to feel sad and so very alone. Sometimes we cry and God cries with us. But when we say we're sorry and forgive one another, we wipe away our tears and God's tears too. Each of us carries a piece of God's heart within us. And when we love one another, the pieces of God's heart are made whole. God dreams that every one of us will see that we are all brothers and sisters. Yes, even you and me even if we have different mummies and daddies or live in different faraway lands. Even if we speak different languages or have different ways of talking to God, 
even if we have different eyes or different skin. Even if you are taller and I'm smaller, even if your nose is little and mine is large, dear child of God, do you know how to make God's dream come true? It really is quite easy. As easy as sharing, loving, caring. As easy as holding, playing, laughing. As easy as knowing we are family because we are all God's children. Will you help God's dream come true? Let me tell you a secret. God smiles like a rainbow when you do. I think that this is my favorite page in the whole book. This is what brings it all together. So how about for this week? If you see this rainbow somewhere, I want you to think about treating everybody equally and fairly and with respect. And I will also want you to think about how could you contribute this to our world? Maybe you want to do a sidewalk chalk drawing of it. Maybe you want to paint a picture. Maybe you want to color a little rainbow on a piece of paper and put it up in your window. Whenever you see this flag, this symbol, I want you to think about how you fit into God's dream.